It's a beautiful day, a beautiful crowd to all the dignitaries, to the friends and family. The Irish, Irish heritage is alive and well. And it's reflected in this garden today, and we're all very proud of that. It all started with a Charlene, a Sheila, and an Eddie. I was a little bit tired, but have you seen the last couple of years, the progress, the proudness, it is just taking it to a new level exactly where it should be. Eddie Crawford is proud of many things in his life. He's very successful, but deep down in his heart, this is probably one of his most proudest days, making this garden what it is and what it's going to be. So it's my privilege to introduce Eddie Crawford. I get up the first week in October every year to think about being introduced like by Martin Sweeney, my old friend. <laughs> On the way down this morning, I was saying, I just hope things are going to go well. The weather is polite, it's very nice, and uh, I expect it. And thank you very much for the kind words. Next time. <laughs> Before we get on, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, a couple of our friends here uh, Jeff Johnson, who is our city councilman for the Garden. And of course, everyone knows uh, Senator Tom Patton. Marty Kane, Council. Well, this has been a, uh, a wonderful experience. From three and a half years ago, we began with a couple phone calls. I stood with a couple of my friends on the hill over there. I was reminded this morning, and it was raining, and we were talking about the garden. And I, I thought I had a vision, and uh, fortunately, they were very interested, and we began. And a lot has been accomplished. Uh, and I'll summarize uh, after we announce some of the new recognition monuments, summarize uh, the goals we have achieved. They're actually uh, quite dynamic. And you know, the first goal, of course, was to restore the garden to its original splendor. We have come very close. And we've come very close because of all the effort, contribution, and the hard work of many, many individuals. But I'm very proud of the garden. I think we're all proud of the garden. If you measure success on the number of hits on the website, we've got something really, really going here in a very, very big way. When you measure success on the number of people that stop here on a daily basis, pull their cars over to the side and take pictures, we measure success on a family's in this morning at 8.30 taking pictures on the way to the wedding. It's a wonderful garden. Uh, i got to thank the lads. We just all thank the lads because we're the only one with a corner lot here. This is very nice. <laughs> so this is a good start. And of course now we uh, have all the way to the bridge. And hopefully in the near future we'll have some lights on the bridge. We have an issue there, but I'm sure... Uh, uh, certain individuals here are in, in a position to address that. <laughs> uh, I, for example, Jeff, I have my light out there. What happened to my light? <laughs> now, this is, uh, you got, there, this, this, this garden is about the Irish spirit. Uh, Father, and everyone comes always back to that. What, what does that mean, and how does it happen, and why does it happen? And how does it sustain itself, uh, with sometimes with very little nourishment. But uh, I want to begin uh, today we have a series of monuments. Last year, uh, the Fred Lennon was a work in process. I'm sure everyone is thrilled and proud of it. Uh, this is a, there are more pictures being taken of that fountain than just about any art piece in, in this area. Let's be polite about it. But we're very proud of it. Uh, Mr. Lennon was a wonderful man, and uh, he would be proud of it. And that's the most important thing. But uh, we've also, in the last uh, three or four days, planted a number of trees recognition trees and I'd like uh, Charlene Crowley to come up and uh, if mention the name Charlene and if there's someone here from the family just please raise your hand. Charlene. Anna Heffron Davis. There they are. She by the way was part of the original garden committee in the uh, 30s. Lonnie Davis McCauley. <laughs> Helen Talty and Michael Talty. <laughs> the 
Ladies, Ancient Order of Hibernians. James P. and Catherine Conway. Joan Murphy Cavanaugh. And Thomas A. and Mary T. Callahan Crowley. Thank everyone uh, that purchased one of these uh, trees. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful when they're fully grown. It's very exciting and very important part of the plan of uh, the future development of the garden.